After an intense battle between the two Saiyans in their blue form, Goku and Bardock had begun training to master Ultra Instinct, which would be the last thing to conquer in that room of time. After Bardock's first attempt to use Ultra Instinct, the two began dedicating all their time to train in that state, as Bardock still had a long way to go before being able to use it. And because the functioning of the Room of Time was altered, years continued to pass rapidly, which benefited their progress in honing their abilities. At that moment, Goku and Bardock were fighting, testing what they were learning. Goku was launching a series of quick, precise punches at his father, seeking to test Bardock's reaction speed. The latter was surprised by the sudden offensive, so he tried to react without thinking, letting his body move instinctively. Goku's first strikes were dodged by Bardock, who was beginning to feel how his body was responding on its own. However, as Goku increased his speed and precision, Bardock began to lose his rhythm, feeling the pressure of the fight. Don't think, just act. Goku reminded him as he continued his relentless assault. Because of his son's words, Bardock closed his eyes for a moment, trying to eliminate any thoughts that could interfere with his movements. When he opened them again, he focused on the flow of the battle, allowing his body to move with the current of energy surrounding them. For a brief moment, Bardock reached a state close to Ultra Instinct, dodging and blocking Goku's attacks with surprising fluidity. Goku noticed the change in his father and smiled with pride. That's it, Dad! You're getting it! Goku exclaimed, feeling the excitement of Bardock's progress. However, despite Bardock managing to use a very basic form of Ultra Instinct, maintaining that state was exhausting for him, as he had not yet fully mastered it. After a brief exchange of blows, he felt his energy begin to wane, and he slowly reverted to relying on his mind to guide his movements, losing the Ultra Instinct state. Goku! Noticing the change, stepped back to give his father a breather. It was clear that Bardock was breathing heavily, as it was the first time his body had experienced that state. Don't worry, Dad. You're really close to being able to use it. You just need a little more practice. As Bardock caught his breath, he nodded at his son's words, indicating his agreement. It's an incredible state, Kakarot, but it's also extremely difficult to maintain. I won't give up until I can use it at will. Goku smiled, seeing the determination in his father's eyes. I know, and that's why I'm here to help you master it. So, let's keep training until you can maintain Ultra Instinct for longer. After that training session, both Saiyans took a short break to recover their energy before continuing their training. During that time, Goku took the opportunity to explain to Bardock some key concepts he had learned about Ultra Instinct. Remember, Ultra Instinct isn't just about reacting quickly, it's about letting your body act without interference from the conscious mind. It's like becoming one with the flow of battle, allowing every move to be perfect and effortless. Goku explained while Bardock listened carefully. I see. It's like the body knows what to do without needing to think about it. Bardock responded, trying to absorb the information. Exactly! But don't worry about mastering it right away. Ultra Instinct is a state achieved with time and practice. The important thing is that you've already taken the first step," Goku said with an encouraging smile. After their break, the two resumed their training. Goku quickly took a defensive stance again, inviting Bardock to attack him. This time, Bardock tried to apply what he had learned from Goku, focusing on clearing his mind and letting his body act on instinct. Moments later, both launched into another exchange of blows with a much smoother flow. Bardock showed significant improvement in his ability to react without thinking. Though he hadn't fully achieved Ultra Instinct, his movements were much more natural and less forced. Seeing his father's progress, Goku decided to raise the difficulty of the training, moving faster and attacking from unexpected angles to challenge Bardock. Keep going, Dad! You're improving quickly! Goku said, launching a series of rapid attacks. Bardock, though surprised by Goku's speed, managed to maintain his focus and dodged most of the attacks. However, the pressure of the fight began to take its toll, and he felt his energy depleting again. It's tough, but I can't give up. Bardock murmured to himself as he continued fighting. Noticing his father's efforts, 
Goku stepped back once again, allowing Bardock to catch his breath. You're doing great, Dad. It's not easy to maintain Ultra Instinct, but you're getting there, Goku said with an encouraging expression. Bardock, though exhausted, nodded with determination. Thanks, Kakarot. I'm not giving up. This state is something I want to master, and I know I can do it. Goku smiled, feeling proud to see his father so determined. I know, Dad, and I'll be here to help you every step of the way. After their brief talk, the training continued for what seemed like days in the room of time. Goku and Bardock kept honing their skills, working together to master Ultra Instinct. As time passed, Bardock showed impressive progress, managing to maintain the Ultra Instinct state for longer periods and with greater stability. It was only a matter of time before he could use it at will, as both Goku and Bardock were formidable warriors. Finally, after long, arduous training over several years in the Room of Time, Bardock reached a point where he could maintain Ultra Instinct for a considerable amount of time. His movements were now fluid, precise, and powerful. Although he still had room for improvement, he had made incredible strides. Goku, watching his father in action, felt a deep sense of satisfaction. You've done it, Dad! You've reached a level that few have achieved! Bardock, still in the Ultra Instinct state, looked at his son with a mix of pride and gratitude. Thank you, Kakarot. I couldn't have done it without your help. Having worked together tirelessly to achieve the Ultra Instinct state, and after so much time training, they were ready to test their abilities in one final showdown. Goku, with a calm but determined look, broke the silence. Father, I feel now is the perfect time to put everything we've learned to the test. We've come so far, but we need to see how it really feels to fight in this state. That way, you'll master it in this fight. Bardock nodded firmly at Goku's words. I agree, Kakarot. There's no better way to measure our progress than in real combat. This time, I won't hold back. Goku smiled, feeling the thrill of the challenge ahead. Neither will I, Dad. Let's give it everything we've got. Both Saiyans took their combat stances, their bodies relaxed yet ready to move in any direction at the perfect moment. The air around them began to thrum with the energy of their auras, fluctuating almost imperceptibly a reflection of the perfect harmony between mind and body. The silence was broken by a sudden movement, as both accessed the Ultra Instinct state, their hair turning completely silver. Goku rushed forward at incredible speed toward Bardock, initiating the battle. Bardock reacted instantly, with Ultra Instinct guiding his actions without the interference of his conscious mind. He dodged Goku's first punch with a smooth movement and countered with a fist aimed at his son's abdomen. Sensing the flow of the fight, Goku twisted his body to deflect the attack, barely grazing Bardock's fist while his own legs swung upward for a swift kick. Anticipating the move, Bardock leaped into the air, evading the kick and responding with a key blast fired from his outstretched hand. But Goku, in a fluid motion, raised his hand and redirected the blast skyward, where it exploded harmlessly. There was barely time for the sound of the explosion to fade before Bardock was upon him again, launching a flurry of quick, precise strikes that Goku deflected with the same seamless grace. Incredible, father! exclaimed Goku, admiring the perfection of Bardock's movements as he blocked a punch aimed at his head. The impact echoed around them, but neither showed any signs of giving in. Bardock didn't respond with words. Instead, he intensified his attacks, fully allowing his instincts to take control. His movements were fast, precise, each flowing into the next like a deadly dance. Goku, feeling the pressure, increased his own pace, responding to every attack with perfect defense, countering each strike with equal ferocity. The exchange was dizzying. A series of punches, kicks, and energy blasts happening in fractions of a second. Both moved so quickly that they vanished and reappeared across the room of time, colliding with each other in a stunning display of pure power and absolute control. Despite the equality in their abilities, Goku began to notice that Bardock was reaching his limits, 
Although Bardock had managed to use Ultra Instinct at will, Goku's experience and mastery over the state still surpassed that of his father. Bardock's movements, though still fluid and precise, began to show slight signs of strain. Sensing this, Goku decided to push the battle to its climax, aiming to help Bardock break through his limits. His blows became faster and more powerful, forcing Bardock into constant evasion and defense, causing him to gradually lose ground. Don't stop maintaining Ultra Instinct! Push beyond to truly master it! Goku shouted as he delivered a punch to Bardock's stomach, followed by a powerful descending kick that struck with force. Bardock, still in Ultra Instinct, felt the impact reverberate through his body as he was sent flying back, but he managed to recover mid-air, landing with his feet firmly planted on the ground. His breathing was heavy, but his determination remained unshaken. You're incredible, Kakarot. Bardock admitted as he tried to steady his breathing. He knew his son had reached a level beyond his own, but instead of feeling defeated, he was filled with pride and respect for the warrior he had raised. Goku, seeing the look in Bardock's eyes, smiled. Thanks, Dad, but you've come so far. Don't stop now. Bardock, still catching his breath, nodded, his determination reigniting. Though he was nearing his physical limits, he refused to give up. With one final burst of energy, he charged at Goku, his body moving in perfect harmony with his instincts, pushing himself to his absolute peak. The two clashed once more, their movements synchronized in a final, intense exchange of blows, neither willing to back down. Goku, sensing that the battle was nearing its end, charged towards his father once more. Bardock was visibly exhausted, as his silver hair seemed to be returning to its normal color. But he decided to keep fighting. With every ounce of willpower, he tried to match his son's movements. But this time, the difference in their powers became evident. Suddenly, Bardock's hair once again turned a brilliant silver, and with a swift and determined motion, he launched himself at Goku. In an instant, he spun on his axis, landing a powerful elbow to his son's side, followed by a spinning kick that sent Goku crashing to the ground with force. Goku hit the ground, his body trembling slightly from the powerful blow. After delivering that tremendous attack, Bardock also collapsed to the ground, his hair still silver, but his strength had left him, and his legs shook from the effort. Yet, a smile of satisfaction appeared on his face. Goku got back to his feet and approached Bardock, breathing deeply but with an expression of respect and admiration. He extended his hand towards Bardock, as he had done before, offering to help him up. Father, you fought incredibly well. You're a true Saiyan warrior. I didn't expect you to hit me like that. Goku said sincerely, helping Bardock to his feet. Bardock accepted his son's hand and stood up with effort, but with his head held high. Kakarot, you're the one who has reached true greatness. It's been an honor to fight by your side. At that moment, both Scions stood facing each other, sharing a moment of respect for their battle. After a brief silence, they decided to end their training for the day. However, from that moment on, they continued to fight year after year in the hyperbolic time chamber, which did not affect their age or have any other consequences. Thanks to this, they both managed to master Ultra Instinct at an unprecedented level, adapting that doctrine to their own fighting styles, not to mention the immense power they had gained. Then, on one of those days, Goku looked around, sensing that the time in the time chamber had finally come to an end, as the room was returning to normal, causing the entrance to reappear.